Yo, yo. What's good, YouTube? I am Kevin Lamar. To those of you that don't know, this is my YouTube channel. It's not your fault. And as y'all can see, man, we back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about demons. Specifically, my demons. Your demons. So, um, let's get into it. All right. So, um. We all got demons. Um, if you if you think you don't, then I mean you fooling yourself. Um, and the reason why I know we all got demons is pretty much because all of us grew up in um, we 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 grew up in a certain type of system. So if you went to high school, you are a part of this system, or, you know, if you just went through school, period, you are a part of this system. Because a part of the way the system is set up to teach you, it hinders you spiritually. And this hindrance creates demons. So, I don't need you to try to understand it. I just need you to just hear what I said. So, like I said, we we all got demons. Um, a lot of people seem to think that they can ignore their demons and still get what they want. So when I say your demons, um, I'm just talking about these these unhealthy, you know, aspects of your personality. These unhealthy aspects of my personality. You know, you may have anger problems. You may have, you know, trust issues, or um, you may be a procrastinator like me. Uh, um. You may have abandonment issues, like all of these different things, you know, these are your demons. You know, these are the things that when you look at them, they hurt. They cause you pain or uh, anything that you feel like will bring that side of you up. You try to avoid it. So again, we feel like we can avoid our demons and still get what we want. So you have all of these years of life that go by and you just look back and you just kind of like, like what's like what's wrong? Like what's stopping me? You know, what's you know why I ain't why I'm not where I want to be yet. And it's because you <laughs> you haven't healed yourself from your demons. So you thought the person that you were spending time around that made you not think about it, he thought that really helped you. You thought when you go out, you know what I'm saying, with your girls, it's y'all girls night, and this is taking your mind off of whatever the issue is. You thought that helped you. You thought that when you fixed that glass of wine or you took that shot, you thought that numbness that came as an effect of you drinking, you thought that helped you.
Oj, tam. Kde? <laughs> when you took a break from work, when you took a week off, two weeks off, a month off, you thought that helped you. And it did it. What it did was, it allowed you to take your mind off of what was bothering you, which is okay. But this is the part that we need to understand is, in order to get rid of your demons, you have to accept them. You have to accept them. So I'm talking to all the people that constantly want to find a distraction. You a busy body. You don't know how to sit still. You, <laughs> you're not comfortable with Boredom. And some of this going to, you know, strike y'all anyway because I just kind of like posted uh, uh, an audio of me talking about boredom. But I'm, I'm talking to y'all, the ones that are always trying to find a distraction. So you pick up your phone, you scroll on social media, you go watch videos or whatever it is that you do. You thought this helped you. And it don't. The only way to get rid of your demons is you have to accept them. And when I say accept them, you have to make peace. You have to accept the fact that however you got your trust issues, you got them. They are there. You have to accept the fact that when you're in certain environments, certain people and they do certain things or they don't tell you certain things, you have to accept that in those moments them trust, trust issues that you got they gonna flare up. And see this is the thing like somebody may say, you know, but that's hard that's difficult. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's gonna be a process. But think about this. Even when you're not accepting them, they come out anyway. They come out anyway. Even when you try to hide the fact that you don't have trust trust issues or whatever type of issues that you got. You know what you battle with. You know what you try to, you know, kind of keep people from noticing. And if you placed in the right environment, it's like that shit is going to eat you alive. Not to say nothing, not to act. It's going to eat you alive. Like, it's going to come out anyway. So, if it's going to come out anyway... then 
why not just accept it? Why why be in resistance against it? Against it if it's still gonna come out anyway, regardless of you trying to resist it. I'ma tell you pretty much the reason why you do this. We do this. We do this because on some level, we feel, we believe that if you are aware of a problem that you have, if you are completely aware of what's happening to you at a given moment, that you should be able to stop it. That's, that's what we believe. We believe that, okay, well, if, if I'm disaware of what I got going on, then why I just can't stop it from going on? Why do I have to accept that it's going to happen when I know I don't want it to happen? And I'm aware, I'm aware that I don't want it to happen. So if I'm this aware that I don't want it to happen, why can't I just stop it from happening? And the fundamental truth is because you're not in control. That's why you have to accept it. That it's going to leave at its own time. In divine time. It's going to leave. You can't put your ego in it and say, well, I want to leave in the next two hours, next two weeks, next two months, next two years. I want it, I want it to be gone. Don't work like that. You're not in control. You, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to break your heart, but you're not the one that makes that decision. It's a greater intelligence than you. And that intelligence is what makes that decision for you. So the only thing you can do is accept. You have to allow yourself to look at the thing that you don't want to look at. To look at the moment that something went completely wrong in your life or the moment that Something did not go the way that you wanted to, and it altered your personality. It changed you as a person. You have to look at that thing. What do I mean when I say look at it? You have to allow yourself to sit with whatever that feeling is, whatever those thoughts are. You have to allow yourself to do that. So this means not scrolling on your phone and, you know, thinking about, oh, I don't want to think about this shit. No, I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about over no girls talk. I ain't talking about over no men talk. I ain't talking about, you know, uh, uh, finding a uh, uh, a movie or something that relates to the situation. No. You have to get alone. Uh, you have to get alone. You have to be alone.
But see, that's going to be so difficult for a lot of y'all because our society is set up that no, you got to be with everybody else. Let me give you some facts about everybody else. Everybody is sick. We're sick. And I mean that in a literal sense. Like, we are sick. As a people, we are sick. We have been given a disease that we did not ask for. And we gained it the moment that we start being taught how to describe things. The moment we are taught how to discriminate. And when I say discriminate, meaning learning how to tell one thing from something else, being able to distinguish that this is my left hand, this is my right hand. That fundamental thing right there was a disease. Because there was other information that we should have got along with that system that we did not get. So now we view the world in a completely distorted way. So this is going to be hard for a lot of y'all. Especially for people that like to follow trends and, you know, shit like that. You always want to be a part of what's going on, what's hot, what's hype. You know, you don't hear nobody talking about being alone like that. You don't hear people talking about, man, go meditate. Like, just five, ten minutes. Meditate. Nothing going on. Don't take your phone. Don't take nobody with you. Just you. Go meditate. That's not popular. That's not popular. So because it's not popular, because if somebody found out that this is what you was doing, you will receive some type of backlash and you're not prepared for that. You're not emotionally strong enough to deal with the backlash. So you are a victim of other people's opinion of you. That means the way other people view you, feel about you, think about you, controls your decision making. So this is going to be hard for a lot of y'all. <sighs> but... <laughs> This is the only way you're going to find what you're really looking for. This is the only way you're going to be able to get to certain levels of your life. You know, it's certain demons that you're going to have to come face to face with. You're going to have to accept them in order to heal them. They will go away. They will dissolve. As you continue to accept, as you continue to allow yourself to feel that hurt that that person caused you or that situation caused you, as you continue to allow yourself to feel this, it will dissolve. But it's not going to dissolve on your time. So you can run around chasing all of these satisfactions, these... Uh, what they call it. These things that give you instant gratification, you can continue to disregard what I'm saying, and most of y'all will. You can continue to do this. But at some point, these words is going to come back to you that you're going the wrong way. 
you're not gonna get the result that you're looking for that way. So it's it's annoying. It's annoying to have to sit and acknowledge and accept certain parts of yourself. It's very fucking annoying. And everybody ain't ready. So if you're not ready, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that's been trying to find a way to to grow, to get past what's been hindering them, what's been holding them back, but nobody has ever told them the way. This is the way. It's through acceptance. In the moment, you fully accept. Meaning to the point where you have no, no more desire to even change yourself. Like you accept it to that degree. The moment you do that, you have become the very person that you was trying to become. So, I'm about to end this video. I'm about to go sit with my own demons because I do have them. I'm just farther along on my journey than a lot of other people. I hope this video helps you. And I wish you blessings on your journey. The moment you fully accept the person that you are right now, flaws and all, in that very moment, you'll become the person that you was striving to be. Y'all have a good one. See y'all in the next video.